Hey gang, Jack Lair here, and real quickly, I want to talk about uh, something that formed in my brain uh, a while ago, and I've started to realize that I apply it to other things, and I call it the Pop-Tart Hypothesis. So I, I adore Pop-Tarts. They're uh, largely not messy, they're easy for me to get uh, fuel in my body when I need it, and generally they're inexpensive. But there's a problem. See, these are the s'mores Pop-Tarts. These are my favorite. These have, we'll call them a maximum happiness rating. So there are eight in the box. So we'll just say that uh, each has uh, a one point of happiness. So there's eight total points of happiness in this box. If I buy this box and I bring it home, all eight points of happiness will be gone by the end of the day. That's just how it works. So, I rarely buy this box. Instead, I find my second favorite, which is the brown sugar and cinnamon. Now, let's say that my second favorite only has 0.8. So, 0.8 times 8 gets us to 6.4. But... The difference here is, is that these will be spread out over many days. So this is my, my hypothesis, is that it is better to have, normally, normally it is better to have a longer period of time happiness than a higher point value of happiness, then that's it. Now. There are a few addendums to this, because a lot of what I realized this related to video games was that this applies to some video games that are infinite. So the reason I don't own a copy of Factorio is because Factorio is infinite s'mores Pop-Tarts. Uh, I borrowed Factorio from my son's library on Steam, and I played it for about three days straight, didn't get any sleep, didn't talk or speak to anyone else in the house. So it's a danger. XCOM, however, that I have played for years and years, I can eat, eat little bite-sized doses and then put it down. Skyrim, I can put it by it, I can eat it and put it down. Now, the problem comes with online games that are live service, I guess is what they're now called. But games that were always, this is your game. So games that were like Halo. I never enjoyed the games that were like, this is, this is the game that you play if you're going to play a game. And that translated over to my problem with the Vita. Now the Vita is my favorite handheld console. I think this is one of the best portable platforms designed. I think that it's amazing the way that uh, it, all of the games were working in the way that they were when they were working. I know that's a huge caveat, but... And I love that it took advantage the games that took advantage of the system were amazing. But the problem is, is that the games that I wanted, games like Entwine, Flower, Tear Away, Gravity Rush, they were the, the lesser. The games where they tried to crimp everything in, Uncharted, uh, I don't remember some of the other ones, but there were a bunch of games on the Vita that didn't feel like portable games. And for me, me personally, that was what made that system such a problem. Because I loved the design, I loved the ability, but the games that were on it were the problem. 
So that's it. That's my Pop-Tart hypothesis. Uh, and I'm curious if you agree or disagree. Would you rather have... And let's, let's ignore the health concerns of whether eating an entire box of Pop-Tarts or even eating Pop-Tarts at all is healthy or not. Let's ignore that. Let's just work on the pure fun factor. Is it better to have an entire amount of fun in one go? Or is it better to have little bite-sized good experiences? That's what I'm wondering. And it can also be taken a different way because something like unpacking is a very short game but I can't call it an entire box of Pop-Tarts. And now it may have been two of the Pop-Tarts that are in here, but that's where the analogy breaks down. But that's all I wanted to know, wanted to let you guys know. So my Pop-Tart hypothesis is that a longer period of lesser joy is better normally than an entire blast of joy in one package because we all know that sometimes there are those games where you just they are the package and you have to know that i know the day that i buy factorio there will be entire weeks of my life gone i know that Baldur's Gate 3, when I bought that game, I knew there was a month of my life gone. Just, just gone. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you guys uh, chime in in the comments somewhere, because I'm actually curious if this is just a me thing, or if other people share this as well. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on!